Hello, thank you for joining me for this new and exciting tips tutorial on the FTO face turning octahedron. Let's get started. So in my last video, I showed how to put in these centers on the white white face here. And uh, so now we have the corners in, we have the centers in, we have all the corners lined up on every side, green, 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 purple, like that, all the way around. Now I'm going to show how to put in these centers on the top layer, like the two purple, two red, and two blue. I'm going to show how to do that. It's a little tricky, but um, I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. So. Like an example, let's say if you have your top layer solved like this, we have these two like this, these two, and these two, and that's all in place like that. And you have your corners in place like I showed because I've done two videos so far so um, on these things. Um, so now once you have the white, you put the white on top. Now, this is the purple side right here. Um, we have one in place where it should be. It just happened to be like that. <laughs> so we don't have any on the blue side because we're going to be putting in these three like that. So we'll look around. Um, there's a blue right here, a blue center. So what we could do is we could take this blue and shift it over to this side to the blue like that to match it up. And then we bring this back to make sure it matches. Um, so now it's right here. So what we got to do is we got to bring it up here to this center right here. So we're going to do that with the algorithm move. So with the white on top, what you do is you just turn it like this so that the blue face is on top. So it doesn't matter where the white is, just as long as you have, because we're going to be rotating this piece to here. So we're going to do an algorithm to move this to here. So we're going to do a right invert, then an up invert and then a right, then an up invert. So we'll do it step by step. I'll show you how. So you do right invert, up invert, right, up invert, right invert, up invert. Then you do a right, and then an up invert. So now uh, it shifted from here to here and it's in place. So we have one blue in. So maybe, I think maybe we'll try to put the other blue in now too. M might as well. <laughs> so we have, let's see. Um, actually, what we could do, we have a blue here. It goes here, but what we can do is bring this blue up here to knock, to knock this out of place. And then we'll shift it around with that, with that algorithm move, the same move. So whatever piece you have, like whatever side you're on, if you find a piece, a center like this, you could just bring it up and knock it out. I'll show you what I mean. So you could bring it up like this and you knock the other blue out of place. I'll show it again. So you could bring it up like this. Then you bring this back with this blue corner or whatever color you have. And then we'll do the same exact algorithm move. We're going to move this one from here to here. That's where we want it. So we'll do right invert, up invert, right, up invert, right invert, up invert, right, up invert. And then what we'll do, because it came here, we're going to shift this center back. So we'll bring that blue center back here like that. So the blue came back into place because it was down, it was down there. So you got to bring it back. So now we have our top two blue centers solved like that. So next we have a red here. We just got to look around sometimes. So, you know, the red might be in the middle here. Like you could look around and see if it is, it's not like an example. Here's the purple. We'll do the purple because just to show you for the example, the purple goes over here. So we'll bring it over here like that. Bring this back so it matches. So we, what we gotta do is just rotate it up. So what we'll do is we'll put the purple face on top, 
like this. And we'll do the same algorithm move because we got to bring these two over here to this side like that. So we'll do right invert, up invert, right, up invert, right invert, up invert. We do a right, up invert. So now, you know, the white's still on top and we have the purple, the two purples in place, they're solved. And that's what we wanted, the two centers like that solved. We have the two blue centers solved. And we just need one more red here. We have one in place. So we'll look around. There's uh, a red here. Let me see. Let me first see if um, we have one here. Actually, what we could do, let's see. Yeah, actually, what we could do is bring this up, and then we'll do the algorithm move, and it'll shift everything around because we want to bring, you know, we want these two solved here. So we'll just bring this one up like this, bring this back, the red here, and we'll do the same algorithm move because we've got to move these two from here to here. So you do right invert, up invert, right, up invert, right, or right invert, <laughs> up invert, and then we do a right, then an up invert. So there we go. We put in the two reds like this. The two reds are in place. The two blue centers are in place, and the two purples are in place, the two centers, all the way around the top layer. So that's what that's the next step. I like I said before, we first solved the corners. Then we the next video I did, we put in the white centers to show step by step. And then now we put in these top layer uh, centers like that. So that's why I just wanted to show in this video a simple tutorial showing you step by step exactly how to do that. Um, you know, I, I find that was that's an easy way to do that. And uh, yeah, I just want to show you how so that when you're solving your FTO, um, your face turning octahedron, it'll be easy for you. So yeah, thank you for joining me tonight for this tips tutorial on the face turning octahedron. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will reply to you. So uh, Wednesday here in Chicago, I have my Arizona iced tea. I really, normally I have coffee, but I really had uh, plenty of coffee today. <laughs> so I have a cool drink. So yeah, this is a good one. Hmm. So yeah, thank you for joining me. Um, like I said, if you ever have any questions, you want to talk about something, drop a comment below. And I will get back to you. I will reply. I will reply to you. I promise you that. So yeah, thank you very much for watching tonight. I appreciate your time, and uh, happy Wednesday, everyone. Have a great day.